Papuan Voices is um, basically voices from Papua, uh, videos and stories made by uh, the Papuans about Papua. So there's been a lot of stories about Papuan and Papuans made by mostly non-Papuans, but not so much the Papuans themselves. I mean, they have made some, but not enough, way not enough. And there's a lot of stereotypes about Papua, a lot of propagandas about Papua run by various media. So this is kind of like the time where, where, where the public can actually say, hey, this is who we are. This is what's really happening in Papua. For the past couple of years, uh, Engage Media has, has worked with um, a lot of different partners in, in, uh, in Papua. Uh, church groups, indigenous groups, cultural groups, arts groups, and all that kind of thing. Um, to basically work with not NGO workers like usual. We don't want NGO. We don't want activists from NGOs making films for fellow activists <laughs> from different NGOs. So this is a kind of different, you know, shape of, of, of film. Most of the things that are happening in Papua is so something that people from other parts of, you know, in the in the archipelago, even in, in the region, can. Can relate to it. We organized the workshops about three times. So, so the first one is about just basically storytelling, how to tell stories. Papuans are great storytellers. So basically, we're trying to kind of work together with them to get to get it off, you know, to get it from from oral storytelling to scripts uh, and that's that's always rewarding you know being 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 around them and, and they tell their stories and it's like wow there's a lot of cool stories here there's like endless supply of uh, cool stories great stories <laughs> What drew me into uh, working with Papuan Voices was to help people tell stories uh, because these guys they have a lot of stories to tell and not they don't really have a platform to express their story or tell their story to the world. Khalil Gibran adalah seorang penyair ternama yang karya-karyanya mencerminkan perpaduan budaya timur dan barat penuh analogi disukai, berba, disukai berbagai kalangan dan populer di berbagai belahan dunia kisah kehidupannya diwarnai dengan penderitaan dari segi ekonomi ditinggal orang-orang tercinta Hingga kisah cintanya yang melankolis dengan kekasihnya Mai Siadia. These guys, they they all live, they all come from different backgrounds, they all come from different struggles, and what I love from these guys is they want to uh, express what they're passionate about, and that's their way of living, their culture, and to give them a platform, to give them a source of how to tell stories is truly inspiring. Give them a chance to change their life, other people's lives around them, while raising awareness 
uh, to other people about their struggles or about other people's struggles to give them that sort of inspiration how, uh, to make film it's it's amazing it's fantastic awal mula saya menjadi seorang fasilitator karena saya pernah belajar seperti teman-teman ini kemudian saya merasa bahwa video ini salah satu media media yang sangat baik untuk sebuah perubahan di Papua karena saya pernah hidup bersama masyarakat di kampung-kampung yang mayoritas tidak semua bisa membaca tetapi mereka bisa melihat, mendengar dan juga memutuskan sesuatu untuk mengubah nasib mereka sendiri uh, film sebagai media, bagi saya media perubahan kepada masyarakat itu sendiri sehingga hal itu yang mendorong saya saya awal mulanya bekerja di sebuah LSM tetapi kemudian saya memilih keluar dan saya mau membagikan apa yang pernah saya dapat dari teman-teman sebelumnya yang memberikan saya training kemudian saya membagikan itu kepada teman-teman karena saya berpikir bahwa kalau ada di setiap pulau, di setiap kabupaten yang ada di Papua ini ada satu orang saja yang bisa mendokumentasikan cerita-cerita masyarakat Papua diangkat menjadi sebuah film saya kira akan memberikan satu perubahan meski kecil tetapi itu bisa berdampak kepada masyarakat yang ada di lokal sendiri kemudian masyarakat yang ada di nasional Indonesia dan juga bisa membawa perubahan kepada masyarakat di internasional kaki tidak ada yang bergerak yang dua di situ saja jadi peran video di perjalanan budaya sangat efektif karena dengan cara menggunakan video seluruh dunia ini manusia akan mengenal budaya Papua yang sebenarnya jadi bukan saja untuk sebagai alat eksploitasi keindahan untuk kepentingan pejabat atau negara tapi orang akan memahami bahwa budaya yang orang Papua punya adalah apa merupakan identitas yang harus dijaga untuk dijadikan sebagai alat pemerintah satu bagi semua orang Papua dan orang Papua juga sendiri harus sadar bahwa budaya Papua adalah alat yang efektif untuk perjuangan pembebasan di Papua gimana pun juga saya banyak belajar ya dari salah ini terus begitu terima kasih buat teman-teman yang serius ngikutin ini terus juga kebaikan ya kehangatan juga dari Kak Max karena gimana pun juga dengan ya semua dengan keterbatasan atau apa yang ada terus berusaha ya untuk menyelenggarakan ini di sini terus juga uh, apa Uh, memberikan semangat terus buat teman-teman terus terang uh, mungkin saya lebih banyak belajar ya terutama untuk spirit karena memang untuk media ya video itu yang paling sampai saat ini saya pikir paling efektif untuk menyuarakan menyorak, apapun apalagi kamar tadi cerita untuk kesenian untuk apapun itu susah sekali Disok, bahkan disorong sekalipun sehingga ya jadi ini salah satu alat yang paling bisa kita pakai Jadi bukan hanya untuk e, menghidupi kita juga, menghidupi teman-teman Itu juga bisa, tapi juga yang penting e, Tujuan utamanya adalah ya Menyuarakan apa yang jadi persoalan di e, Papua ini Jadi ini yang menggambarkan Before they were they were editing in 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 iMovie, so now you know they're trying to edit stuff in in Adobe Premiere. So, um, so that's uh, that's what we're, that's what we're doing now. And basically, the other thing that kind of different this time around is we're trying to get them to edit music clips, video clips, uh, because Popons love music. The the editing has a lot of uh, music flavor to it. So that's what they're doing. And then after this, we have a mentor who's, who's sticking around in, in both cities to work with the, with, the, with the participants, with the video makers, to get them to uh, prep up the videos. We'll have some videos uh, screened on the 10th of December, uh, Human Rights Day. Uh, there's this festival 
film documentary in Jogja. That some of the films will be screened there. Uh, but yeah, I think I think the overall popcorn places videos will be launched and screened around in, in May. Um, so yeah, that's that's the big plan. So this time around, we're using a, a real musical group called Sanggar Sara. Um, Sanggar Sara is from Raja Ampat. Raja Ampat is usually known for its beautiful island, coral, underwater beauties. But there's actually, hey, there's actually people living in Raja Ampat. And, and this uh, group, uh, Sanggar Sara, so they've been invited to to perform at this festival in 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 uh, in West Java in uh, about a week's time so they're here to practice so we thought you know it's a good chance that when they practice we kind of work together with them they can they can practice the, the, the participants can can also practice recording videos with them and and also digging some stories from the, from them because they have a lot of uh, cool stories as well this is their first time around going outside of uh, Papua um, what are their wishes and and of course the main thing also is about the stories that they tell through music and that's what uh, what uh, the participants are trying to to do as well to make the change to what they love doing. It's an amazing thing to give someone a chance to change through doing something they love. This is what's happening. I mean, with Engage Media, Purple Voices and all these this, this partners, we're not claiming that we're, we're the agents of change. I mean, I mean that's it depends on how people use those people. And we're, we're having a blast. This is a... Uh, this is a nice straight run and yeah hopefully it can be an enjoyable experience for for everyone um, it has been for for me personally and hopefully it's been for for for, for the others as well bahagia happy karena cita-cita saya bahwa ketika saya belajar menjadi seorang peserta, saya juga berkeinginan bahwa suatu saat nanti saya bisa membagikan ilmu ini kepada teman-teman saya yang lain. Dan hal itu terwujud. Dan secara pribadi saya sangat senang, sangat senang, sangat bahagia. Karena cita-cita awal saya tadi bahwa saya, saya kira bukan hanya saya saja, tapi kedepannya ada orang lain teman-teman saya yang ada di Papua ini yang bahkan lebih daripada saya untuk membuat sebuah film